Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to learn about graphing y equals cosine x, the parent graph. So what you need first is you need to set up an x and a y axis. So here's my x axis and I have it labeled in radians from 0 to 2 pi. And on my y axis, I am lab I labeled from 1 to negative 1. And I did put in a 0.5 and a negative 0.5 just so you could get a little scale. The other thing you're going to need is the unit circle. So we can read the values of cosine from the unit circle. Now the values of cosine are always the x coordinates, the first coordinate of the unit circle. And you can watch the unit circle video to learn about why. But we're just going to use that to read off the values. So the values we're going to concentrate on today are the ones on the x and y axis. So we're going to look at this one, this one, this one, and this one. So we have basically four points we're going to be working with. So I'm going to look at this little table and highlight those because those are the values we're going to graph. You can graph the ones that are in between if you would like. Uh, we'll talk about those decimal values in a second. So those are the values we're going to look at. So let's look at when x is 0, what's cosine x? So we're going to go to the angle at 0 degrees, or 0 radians, and the cosine is the value 1. Now let's go to pi halves. So here's the angle pi halves, which is 90 degrees, and the cosine is 0. Cosine of pi is the next one. Cosine of pi, that's negative 1. Cosine at 3 pi halves, that's back to 0. And then cosine of 2 pi, that's the entire circle. We're back to where we started with, so that's 1. So I'm going to plot these five points. So cosine, the graph starts at the angle of 0 and the value of 1. Then when the angle is pi halves, we're at 0. When the angle is pi, we're at negative 1. When the angle is 3 pi halves, we're back to 0. And when we're at 2 pi, we're back where we started. So you can see a full cycle. So now I'm just going to connect these. And we will have our cosine curve. So here is the cosine curve. And we know this is continuous. It's going to cycle back around. So I'm going to put arrows on both ends. And it will cycle again. So there's one full cycle. We call that a period. So the period for cosine is the length of 2 pi because it takes a full unit circle to cycle all the way through cosine. And that's how you can graph it. Now I'm going to point out a couple values so you can see these. Okay, the cosine, let's look at um, pi 6. So pi 6 is the square root of 3 over 2. If you put that in your calculator, that is 0.86. So I'm going to put 0.86 is actually 0.866, but we're just going to use a couple decimal places, 0.867 if you want, okay, which is close to 0.9. So when we're at pi 6, which would be right here, our value is actually pretty close to positive 1. Then at pi fourths, the cosine is square root of 2 over 2. Well, that as a decimal is 0.7. So I'm going to put a 0.7. So halfway in between 0 and 5 halves, we're at 0.7. So you can see it does curve. Then at pi thirds, we hit 1 half, and then we go down to 0. So you can see it's very curved, very, uh, there's no lines in here. This is all a curved function. And we're just basically unfolding the unit circle onto this x-axis. And that's where the graph of cosine comes from. So I hope this video is helpful on learning how to graph cosine of x. It was so